Hey guys, I'm back. Today we're going to do a word rock, a dotted word rock. Uh, these are a couple of the word rocks I've done recently with the ombre effect in the dots. So it's going to go light in the center and then move its way out to a darker color on the outside. Now you're going to need to use um, a rock big enough to write a word on. I'm going to be using a rock that I don't find very attractive and I'm covering up with two paint, two uh, coats of black paint. Uh, and you're also going to need gold paint for the lettering. Uh, whatever kind of tools you use for dotting, uh, you're going to need a variety of different sizes for the dots today. Um, so make sure you have a few different sizes as well as a pencil and eraser so that you can sketch on the word that we're doing. Today we're doing the word lucky. So coat your rock with two coats of black paint and let it dry and pick out a green acrylic paint to work with. Uh, because we're doing the word lucky, it's to go with the St. Patty's Day theme. So I'm going to use New Shamrock by Apple Barrel uh, just to stay with the theme for St. Patty's. We're also going to use Extreme Glitter. It's Hologram 2796 by Folk Art. Uh, you can also use just green glitter, uh, whatever you prefer. My rock's about five and a half inches by three and a half inches, just so you know what size I'm working with today. Now I have sketched out a few cursive uh, lucky fonts <laughs> on paper so that I can work with it. Uh, you can go to Google and look up the word lucky in cursive and look up images and it will help you uh, sort out what kind of writing you want to do. And that's what I did today. I'm going to sketch it on with pencil, but I'm going to drag the tail of the Y above the word lucky, and that's going to end up being a four leaf clover. And how I do the four leaf clover is basically uh, four hearts, and they're all uh, attached together at the bottom of the heart. So the best thing about pencil is that you can adjust it and make it look the way you want it to and we can erase all of the mistakes later. So once you're happy uh, with that, we're gonna take out the acrylic gold paint uh, and a fine lining brush or whatever kind of brush you are comfortable using to do some lettering with. And you're gonna outline your favorite, um, the favorite line that you created to make your, your word lucky. And whatever you don't like, we can erase later. I'm going to thicken out my lines a bit just to make it look a little bit fancier. I'm going to keep the tail of the Y um, a lot thinner than the rest of the writing, as well as the clover. The leaves on the clover are going to be really fine gold lining. So I'm probably going to go in with some black paint just to thin it out. You can also use black paint to get rid of the lines that you can still see of pencil as well. You don't have to erase it. You can just use black paint, which I do a lot as well because I'm too impatient to let the gold paint dry <laughs> and I just want to keep going. But once you're happy with it, uh, let it dry completely just so that we can uh, do the dotting and not have to worry about smudging our letters. So like I said, you can use an eraser to erase the pencil that you can still see um, or black acrylic paint covers it up pretty fast like I just did. <laughs> And we let that dry completely. Now I'm getting out my shamrock. Or whatever green that you decided to use. You can use whatever green you want. But we're going to use white acrylic paint and the one green. That one green color. So what you want to do is we're going to start off in the center of the word. Uh, doing the lighter color. 
So I've got white here, but I'm gonna actually put a little bit of the shamrock green in there and make it a very light green. And that's gonna be the starting color. I also use my bigger dotting tools first, and then I use the smaller tools uh, to afterwards once I have my, my big dots in. You're gonna need a paintbrush that you can use to keep mixing the green into the white because we're gonna gradually turn that white into sham the new shamrock color right beside it by just gradually adding more green. It's hard to tell in my lighting, but I am turning this white to green. Um, it's a very, very light green, but it is green, I promise. I take my big dots and I'm gonna go along the center of the word and just kind of eye out where I want that lightest streak to be in the center of the word. So I always get my bigger dots on first and then I move to medium dots and then I work my way into smaller dots and then you can even go down to toothpick sized dots and fill in any little black space you can see, but don't mix any other color in yet until you have all your dots completed because you can't go back to that same color. So I'm, once I'm happy with my large dots, I switch to a different tool to get smaller dots and I start going in around those big dots. You just gradually work your way down to smaller tools. Now there's gonna be a challenge if you go on Rocks Across America on Facebook uh, I believe there's going to be a St. Patty's Day challenge and uh, you might be able to win the challenge if you do this tutorial. Uh, so take a look at Rocks Across America, join that family there and, uh, and see what's going on with that challenge for St. Patty's Day. Now you can see I'm just adding in all these little dots. This is my smaller tool, which is almost as small as a toothpick and I'm filling in any little blank spaces I can see. And you can choose to do less dots, um, bigger dots. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but this is just the way I'm doing it today. And it gives a really nice ombre effect going from light to dark when you have all that space filled in. So once you're happy with that, it's time to mix your green into your white again. Grab some more of your green, and we're gonna tint that paint darker green. And then you're gonna go all the way around that starting color with that color. So you just keep going all the way around until eventually you get to the outside of the rock. And if uh, dotting is scary for you or you're not used to it, it does take practice. Um, your paint consistency does matter. If it's too thick, it's really hard to make nice little cute dots. Um, but definitely keep practicing as I did. Uh, I'll be doing some more tutorials soon with some dotted mandalas so that we can practice dots as well. But I thought I'd do dots today on this rock. It's a lot of fun once you get used to it. So keep mixing in the green, gradually changing the green color darker and darker. And you can see now it's really hard under this lighting, but I've got three different or four different shades of green already on this rock. Um, you can just have three shades, do whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you don't wanna bring the dots all the way out to the edge, you don't have to. If you wanna leave some uh, big dots or just change the sizes, it's up to you. Now I'm going to be uh, mixing in some darker green and, and then we're going to be using hologram um, sparkles as well, don't forget. So that's always a fun thing to add to my rocks. If you have watched any of my tutorials, most of them have gold and hologram paint. <laughs> 
So it's slowly coming together. It does take time. Some people find it really boring. I find it extremely therapeutic to do dots. So like I said, once you've worked on it for a while, you'll really enjoy it and you won't be able to stop dotting things, I promise. Now I've mixed so much green into that white that it's almost the shamrock green already. So I'm just adding that in all the way around, filling all the black space in. You can do bigger dots as you get closer to the edge. I like doing that as well. And I find with word rocks, um, the word stands out a lot more if you do a matte coat. And I'll explain the matte varnish uh, as soon as I'm done dotting this for you. Filling it all in, now I'm using the darkest, uh, the original new shamrock color by uh, Apple Barrel. So that's what I finish off with on the very outside and you can see the gradual ombre effect and it just looks so beautiful. Now to get your hologram uh, paint ready, this is the matte stuff that I use. It's uh, Americana Duraclear Dura Ultra Matte. It's a polyurethane uh, matte varnish and I use that once all my dots are perfectly dry and, uh, and I use a matte coat over top. And now I want to make the clover sparkle with the hologram. So we're going to put the hologram over top of the matte varnish, over top of everything, and just fill in our clover with two coats of the hologram sparkles. Because I really want that clover to stand out. And it will because of course it's sitting on top of a matte layer already so it's already going to be really sparkly and shiny hard to tell uh, from these uh, just how sparkly it is you have to use it in order to understand um, but now i'm going to use mod podge as a super gloss brilliant uh, one coat glass finish brand of mod mod podge and I'm going to go over top of not only my clover, but also my letters in the, the glossy finish. Because I want my letters to stand out and my clover to stand out, but I want the dots to stay a matte finish. This stuff is really goopy and thick. Um, it looks foggy, but it dries clear like glass. And uh, it's beautiful up against the, uh, the matte finish on the dots. So it does look a little bit cloudy right now, but once it dries, all you're going to see is the hologram sparkles in like a glass finish. And the letters are gold with a glass finish, but the rest of it's a nice matte. And it's just so beautiful. So I wish you luck on the challenge. 